So oh, that's what we're working on today on the bus and getting super sweaty. Oh my God, it's so hot. working on today on the bus uh, so we've taken the seats out here but these are the frames that the seats sat on and uh, so what we're doing is making this a raised platform which the it'll have storage underneath here and then on top will be the bed or the couch or whatever this is all just sort of stuck with my stuff right now because I'm um, doing this as I'm moving into it basically so here's sort of a shot from a little bit farther away you can see what yeah it doesn't really show much eh. um but uh again when I have all this stuff cleared out it'll look a little bit better and I can show you what's going on again we have this um this storage area and then also yesterday we worked I showed a video about the steering column here so we did put in these fresh new bushings you can see where the grease is right there uh, and deep down in there. So we got these new bushings in and look at this stiff as a rock So the shifter is fixed again this little boot uh, Hard to find but we'll do what we can So that's what we're working on today on the bus and getting super sweaty. Oh my god. It's so hot It's like 90 degrees here Labor Day weekend on Maui um, But we're rocking it right update again tomorrow. Aloha Alrighty, so here you get a better look at what I'm talking about this storage unit that's been built but This video doesn't show really how much room is in the bus So I built this little Storage area that on top of it is gonna go a bed or a couch something futon maybe right? Uh, this will lift up so you can access all the storage underneath And yeah, that's it pretty simple, right? Nice and easy, just we're gonna make this a nice and easy build. We're not gonna go hog wild. It was only a three thousand dollar bus, uh, so we're not gonna make it into a thirty thousand dollar luxury apartment. Um, but we're gonna make it a very nice, beautiful living space and comfy and cozy. And there you go, man. That's what it's all about. Aloha. Alrighty, it's getting a little late, but I just wanted to show what I did here really quick. Um, this used to be where the heater was underneath this final seat here on the back of the bus. And, uh, I mean, I think it was leaking anyway, so that means it was shot. But I live in Hawaii, not really needing the heater, not going up to the top of the mountains too much. So, um, what I did is I disconnected the heater. Um, I just took the the tubes and the hoses and basically just coupled them together and uh, I did make a little bit of an antifreeze leak um, but I just plugged it back up I I did plug my thumb over the one end and, and tried not to introduce too much air into the system and I did clamp off the other one while I did that and um, so these are electric wires that are what's left here and um, the hoses I've tucked underneath you can't really see but they're right, and there it is. It's underneath the bus. And it's getting dark out now, so it's hard to see. Um, but I threw out most of the heater, but what I did is I actually salvaged the fan here. And so you see these wires connect to those wires. And there's a switch up front that turns the heater on or off. And now what it'll do is just turn this fan on or off. Uh, there'll be no more heat going to it. And here's, if you go right up, the emergency exit window. Or uh, door top on the ceiling so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the electric right up the corner there over to here and have this fan mounted in here so it'll basically just you know be able to run off of the car's electric or the bus's electric and put some ventilation in through the uh, emergency access 
door on top. Right on. Aloha.